will then. What next? Much longer till Xanarkand. Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the Temple of Makalania. Oh boy. <laughs> and before that, we get to pray at the temple in Jose. We can't just skip all that, can we? Huh? Mm -mm. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. That's a summoner's training. She's got to prepare mind and body, all just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm... Must be tough, Yuna. <laughs> I'll be fine with you here. Hey, new guy. Me? Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. Huh? You know her. She would distance herself from you. We do not want that. I see. I think. Yeah, but even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah. You have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? What about my feelings? Better than you finding out at a critical moment, becoming emotional. What? Me? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> maybe even a little now. Just a little. Hey, I still don't buy your story, you hear? It is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. Oh. We escaped with our lives, but our troops were decimated. Of all our chocobos, only this one made it. We make pretty poor chocobo-mounted forces without chocobos. We turned our backs on the teachings and cast away our faith. This... This is our just reward. Is that the Jose Temple? The Lightning Mushroom Rock. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the Faith. That means another summoner's already in there. Another summoner? What if it's Donna? We have to hurry. Right! In we go! Loser! He's... Where is he? I found him. But he was torn in half. I... That idiot. What 
What do I do now? I can't do this. I'm going back to Besaid. Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really... I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more. But watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What you all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! The Cloister of Trials lies within. Are you prepared? All right! Guardians, at attention! We are ready. All right. Let's do it.
You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I'd say. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... Are it, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arin. No, Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? Never wash this hand again. Please touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. No matter how dark the night, morning always comes, and our journey begins anew. I'm going back to Besaid. With Luzu gone, yeah. It'd be hard fighting alone, wouldn't it? Most of the other Crusaders have already left. I'll go soon.
She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now, then. <sighs> ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. I'm so sorry. I'll get ready right away. Just a moment. Oh, oh. Don't worry. It's okay. Yo, sleepyhead. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush. Here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we called to you. But with all that snoring. Uh, oh. mm. What is it today? Everyone's picking on me. <laughs> 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 oh, you too, Sir Oren? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't really laughed like that in a long time. It was only later that I realized. The only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come.
good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. One of Kimari's friends looks just like him. What? Both Pharaoh summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear, never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari, lost his horn, next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari will deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. You can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we Guardians do our job, no problem, right? Ooh. Confident. Yeah! My turn.
No time to waste. Let's go. Everyone, look sharp. We meet again. I heard you took part in Operation Meehan. You've seen that Machina aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I must train harder. I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. I'm ready. That's the spirit. But before we begin, I have healed your Aeons. Well, shall we? Call whichever Aeon you want. Don't hold anything back. Show me what you've learned. Stop. That is enough. You're good. You bested me fairly. Here, your prize. Go on, take it. I look forward to meeting you again. Till next time, Yuna. A lot of fiends here, y'all. Don't talk like that.
Wow! This is the moon flow. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of pyreflies gather here when night falls. The entire river glows like a sea of stars. Really? Hey, I got an idea! We're not waiting till nightfall. Ah. Hmm. Then, once we beat Sin, we're coming back. Hey, we better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? That's some kind of boat? Hmm. Is a shoe puff. Whoa! Uh, let's ride! Come on, let's go! All right, we board soon as we're ready, huh? I'll walk. Shoe puffs! I haven't ridden one in so long. What? You've been on one of these? Well, just once. Ten years ago, with Kamari. Remember? Shoe puff shook. Yuna fall in water. Shoe puff scoop up Yuna with long nose. Yuna jump in three more times for fun. Kimari worried. Whoops. Yuna had fun. Kimari happy. Ten years ago. Ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why he was drunk, thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jekt never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. No, I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes? Please, we beg of you. Impossible! Impossible! What's wrong? This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe puff. Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Yeah, hey, I didn't say that. Just... It is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. 
Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, boy. That's our captain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way. Those words stayed with me. I wonder how Captain Lucille is doing. Riding a shoe puff isn't that much fun. How little you know. Some things little boys never grow out of. Right? Let the driver know when you're ready. A look. What? Whoa! A sunken city. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right. It's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. Nope, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, Mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful Machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their Machina. The war ended. And our reward was sin. 
So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. Ugh. What could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The Albed! Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. <sighs> ah, those out bed. Ish, everybody okay? I I'm sorry, we're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the out bed. What do they want from us? Something to do with Luca? What are they after Yuna for? Wait, they're mad they lost the tournament. Oh, wait, they're mad about Operation Meehan. I wonder, didn't Kamari's clansmen say something about summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that? Those sand plastic grease monkeys. Hey, Waka. It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. Kimari Vale is guardian on Shubov. Kimari never fail again. Guard Yuna. Meanie? 
you're not dead? Ah, uh, ah? Uh? for back there. Ah! Riku! You're Riku! Uh, hey! Uh, you're okay! How you been? Terrible. Yeah, you don't look so good. What happened? You beat me up, remember? Huh? Oh! That Machina? That was you? Hurt, you know. You big meanie. <sighs> w w wait, but you attacked us. Nuh-uh. It's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's in our bed. <sighs> wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Ah. Sir Oren, I would like Riku to be my guardian. Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? Hundred percent. So, anyway, can I? If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right oh. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku, at your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. <laughs> <laughs>